You got to get Tim in so, here to so talk you, about um, Eric the Midget. He was, I was just talking about it in my office. He goes, I'll take that little fucker's uh, wheelchair, wrap it around his neck, and I'm going to fucking kill him. <laughs> <laughs> he's so mad at him. Oh, is he annoying? Well, he uh, left me a message on Friday saying that he's very <laughs> upset, that he feels he's being neglected. And Tim goes, we call him every day. He goes, I spent a thousand dollars on that little shit. Eric. Good morning. Good morning. Let, let, me, let me explain the world to you, okay? Because no one does because of your, yeah. of your yeah. considerable handicaps. But let me tell you how the real world works, okay? Think about it. Nobody cares about you. Nobody ever would give you a show in any way except for my dumb channels. Tim calls you enough. There is no end to the amount of attention you need on a daily basis. The more attention we give you, the more you seem to need. You're like an endless vortex of need. <laughs> Does any of this make sense to you? Well, it's from here to L.A., it's 10 hours or more to get down there. I don't, I need to know in enough advance notice all the details. I mean, because I was getting asked by my dad every day. Has Jim called? Has Jim called? And I had to keep saying no. I have left two messages. I'm waiting for Eric, him to call Eric, me back. it'll all be worked out. I mean, who else is really yeah. offering television and radio Eric, shows to you? Eric. I mean, is there really anyone else that's in the bidding? <laughs> what are you so worried about? Why are you carrying on like that? Tim, are you taking care of this kid or what? I don't even want to talk to the guy anymore. Wow. I've well, had it up to here with the, the, the guy's nuts. Tell me what's been going on. He's out of his freaking mind. Is this why you got he, into radio? To yeah, get with exactly. Eric yeah. So I get a, a, a note from Gary this morning. He says, hey, by the way, who's handling uh, Eric the actor, or Eric the astronaut, or Eric the, you know, whatever? <laughs> and I say, what? <laughs> and I got an email I just forwarded to you of a note that, or a, a voicemail that he sent me on Saturday stating, I'm going down to L.A. and I just want to let you know I tried to call blah, 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 whatever. I'm like, whatever, okay. But I'm done with it. I washed my hands with it. It's costing over whatever it is to, to have this guy do a show, which is going to be a train wreck, uh, you know. <laughs> and then I'm going to catch shit for it because it doesn't sound right. right. So uh, it's like, you know what? Forget it. So you're you're out of the whole Eric the. Um, I'm out of the Eric the actor business. <laughs> yeah, so Jim's. I'm just, I understand on his MySpace account he's Eric the Idol expert. Yeah. Oh, for really? whatever. Yeah. In his own mind. What Eric a... the Idol expert. So what he's done now is uh, Tim has passed it off to Jim. That might be the gayest nickname I've ever heard from MySpace, Eric. Eric the Why? Idol expert. Why? Because American Idol. Even though I watch it, I know it's gay. You don't want your nickname to be. Eric the Idol expert. Do you understand that on any level? Well, you asked me all those questions a couple of weeks ago, and I raffled off the answers really quick. Yeah, but I'm saying Does that's that nothing to be proud me? of. That's nothing like, like, if, like I'm an expert on Superman comics, but I don't make that my identity because it's, re it's kind of funny at a party if I whip that out. A girl might think that's charming for two seconds. But if you make it your identity, if you become Eric the Idol expert, you don't see that that's not, eh, forget it. You know what? It's cool. Howard, it's not like he's going to go out and hit 20 home runs. No, but I know he wants to have an image or something. Yeah, I know. I know. Desperately. To help him. Desperately. All right, so where does it stand with his show? It'll be on Wednesday night. Wednesday night. Right. I, my money is he doesn't even show up. Well, we'll see. If he doesn't, I'm going to take that $1,000 and fly out to L.A. and strangle the little guy. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know you're going, what is it, Wednesday night? Do you know your show is Wednesday night? Yeah, the only thing I'm not sure of is the directions of how to get from the hotel to there and also what one of the two Howard channels. I got two words for you. Broadcasting. Map Quest. <laughs> you know it would be a good show if you strangle Eric on the air. Yeah, how about Eric and Tim? <laughs> I haven't even been given an address to the studio. You need maybe, the hey, maybe the map quest. Maybe, Tim's maybe Eric is... <laughs> is Eric telling the truth, though, Tim? Do you sure you, you've given him all these we'll, details? We'll give him the, the, the address of the place today. He'll get it all. He'll get it yeah, all. Yeah. You're going to get it all today, Eric. Okay. Write down, hey, Eric, do me a favor. Write, put down on a list, because I'm sure you got some time today. <laughs> put a list together of all the things that you need so when we contact you today at around noon Eastern time that you'll have it all wrapped up, okay? <laughs> Let's start with that. Be careful. 
then we get like mini elliptical machine. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. No brown M and M's. A mini steak. I want Jessica Alba nude. <laughs> a yeah, tiny the, toilet. The rider. In the Whack Pack show, you wanted to do the Whack Pack show. Double uh, uh, A called you and asked you if you could do it, and, no. and Eric. So you said, "Oh, did okay, I? Yeah, yeah, I want yeah. a pet monkey." When, when you yeah. hear me say something on the air, it okay. doesn't mean I'm actually okay. meaning it. Well, when you say that, it triggers a barrage of phone calls. And yeah, well, you could check with me if I really mean it. Okay. All okay. right.